Hey everybody, Rudy here from Take a Bath Productions with another video to show you how to fix things. Today I'm going to be working on this Honda 160cc engine and uh, the, the gas looks bad in the tank so we're going to be pulling the carburetor down and uh, seeing what's going on in there. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad but um, I've seen a few whoppers. Next, pull the air. Well, at least it isn't saturated with oil, so that's a good sign. These are 10 millimeter. This one too. I kind of don't like this Honda design, honestly you have to pull the whole thing apart all at once and uh, to me the Briggs and Stratton just has a better design but it is what it is kind of slowly pull this away in case there's any gaskets that might be getting ruined oh this thing's pretty dirty I haven't pre-taken this thing apart like I usually do. Sometimes you can take a razor blade or something if these gaskets don't want to come off and just slowly work your way around them like this. That way you don't ruin them because I'm not spending any money on this thing. Might not be worth it. That's all there is to uh, taking that off. I will uh, reset the cameras and we'll take apart the carburetor and see what we got. Welcome back. I'm going to take the bowl off and that's going to tell the story. Hopefully it's not going to be a sad story. Oh, okay, it doesn't look too bad. That's good. You want to pull that pin out. That one actually comes out with your fingers. Get a screwdriver that will fit down in there and pull that out. You can see it sticking through right there, and you probably can't see down in there with the camera, but there's a little brass thing right in the middle. Just push it, and that'll get it started. There we go. All right. I'm going to take some carburetor cleaner and just spray this thing off because I can't stand the sight of it, and I'll be right back. Okay, that looks a lot better. I just couldn't stand it all dirty like that. I just used uh, brake clean. It seemed to work pretty good. And, and some air. And just blew uh, everything out that I could find. Okay, on this uh, emulsion tube, basically there's uh, quite a few little holes here. I don't know if you can see those, but uh, they're in there. And I use a, t a set like this used for cleaning out torches. It works great on carburetors. I hardly ever use it on torches. Find one that fits through there. Let's go down to the smallest one. And just run them through each hole. Just like that. And of course, don't forget to go down through the middle. Not too likely something will be in the middle, but might as well get it while you're here. See? 
And this little jet, I'd do the same thing. Start off with a small one. Just like that. Now these things have a little bit of a nasty film on them. So I'm going to take a Dremel tool and kind of clean them up. If you don't have a Dremel tool, you can use some steel wool or some Brillo. It does the same thing. This is just a little faster. And to finish it off, just shoot some brake clean through it. And blow through. do the same thing with this little jet here. Now on the bowl, this is clean up a bowl. Clean up a bowl, is that a word? That looks quite a bit better. If your uh, float is the same way, you can clean that up the same way, but this float actually looks pretty good, so I'm going to leave it alone. Now on the end of this needle, I'm going to give it just a light. And you can replace this needle. I'm just trying to see if the free fix will work first. Basically if the fuel runs in the carburetor or runs, in the, um, runs out the carburetor or runs into the uh, oil, then you've got to replace it. Alright, let's put this back. this. Put the little one back. And you screw that down, look inside and make sure you can see it sticking up because otherwise it's not screwed in all the way. Needle goes back on that groove right there. Like that. All right. One other tip when you put this. Uh, bowl back on. See it's kind of got a flat spot on it like that. That corresponds right here to this flat spot so put it on there like that. And that's it. That's uh, clean in my book. Okay guys, got everything reset here. Try to put it back together. Um, basically, I think Hondas are kind of lacking in design on this part because they're a real pain in the neck to get back together. But, try to show you how to do this. I've already got the linkages hooked up right here. They just go right here. It's pretty simple uh, on that. So right here, I would get your fuel line hooked up while you can still get to it.
and the clamps were lost on this mower. And I don't have any more clamps, but yours is probably going to have a clamp to put right here. I'll fix that later, but just for the purposes of the video, I don't have a clamp and there's a clamp missing, okay? This will go on here, and then you're going to try to feed this through here. Then the carburetor. Kind of got to stack it all. Then the gasket. And it goes with this long half hanging down towards the bowl. I think it's like a heat shield, you know, this flap comes down and kind of keeps the bowl cool, cooler. And then this part goes like this with that kind of an ear looking pattern facing towards the carburetor and this weep hole right here in the bottom of it facing down all right that's all stacked up on this choke this thing right here push if, if, if you have the auto choke then this won't apply with this manual choke push that back so it will mesh with the choke in the carburetor when you put it back up in there. All right. I'm going to try to hook the breather up once I get this thing. Because I just can't hold it all in. the choke works the choke works make sure you get the breather hook back up That's about it. Um, at this point, I would turn the fuel on and look for uh, any gas running out of there. I'm going to let, let that sit for a minute and look for any gas. Put the air filter back. And we're going to take it outside and see if it runs. By the way, I didn't see any leaks coming out of there. Just got it all back together. Just want to fire it up for a second make sure it still works. I've already choked it, so um, here we go. Started right up. self propelled works good. All right, seems to be running pretty good. No leaks, that's a good sign. If you enjoyed this video, click on the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.